Just a minute, odds on. On her back in turn, True Roman, the favourite will be four wide for the turn. In behind the Mamera Seal, followed by Alfetta coming off the rail. Then Honey John, Smart Feather, Fairlane Park, Noble Genius as Amorous Hill breaks up. On the turn, though, 220 metres out. Casino Lynn straightens up two metres to Gypsy's Yodel. Then Trinket down the outside, followed by True Roman, late starting to fly home. Gypsy's Yodel got to Casino Lynn. Down the outside, True Roman, the favourite, starting to storm home. It'll get up narrowly, True Roman, but it's got up and won. True Roman's got up and won by a metre and a half to Gypsy Yodel. Third home in the race, tight between Casino, Lynn and Trinket. Well timed run from True Roman, five to four on Gypsy Yodel, 15s and Casino, Lynn at 10s. In the second event here, Ramesse is the odds on favourite. Then Bay Gaze, Raining Dollar, Lindell, Hanover, Bindi, Black Key, Marty, Haversack and No Tay Revener. On the turn though, 250 metres out and Ramesse's got away from JR's Dream by four metres. Chindy third under pressure, followed by Eden Vance, Lindell, Hanover, Bay Gaze and Raining Dollar. They straighten up 200 metres out. Ramesse's three metres in front. JR's Dream slowly but surely bridging the gap, followed by Chindy. Ramesse's has been a giant go. He's two metres in front. JR's Dream trying very hard with Chindy. Ramesse's just in front. J JR's Dream wearing it down on the outside. Ramesses and JR's Dream, nothing in it. Ramesses, JR's Dream have hit the line absolutely knocked together. Chindy will get up to run third. JR's Dream got the verdict by a short half head at 5 to 2 from the favourite Ramesses, 10 to 9 on, and Chindy at 12 to 1 in the third race. Corralta Khan, the favourite at 2 to 1. Mary Echo back on the fence, followed by Andy Adios. Hydrosphere going forward from Trapeze Artist Jacaba going forward, followed by Christian James and Dale's Donation. They turn there with the 250. Errol Caramia straightens up three metres. Corral to Carno's flat. Romeo Jenden the threat down the outside, making ground. Mary Echo can't get a run. Errol Caramia two metres in front. Romeo Jenden can't pick it up. Corral to Khan boxing on. Christian James late starting to fly home, but Errol Caramia gets the money by three metres. Errol Caramia at 9 to 4, Christian James at 10 to 1, Romeo Gendon 8 to 1, and the favourite Keralta Khan at 2s. In the fourth race, first leg of the Quaddy, I'm a threat, the favourite 5 to 4 on. Set. Racing, I'm a threat away quickly with Don Riso. Hero Star easing in behind them as I'm a threat is working across Callaway. Copper Bray in behind them, followed by Don Riso the outside. But I'm a threat leads out of the straight. Gangel's Hanover going forward. He's caught three wide. He's trying to angle for the sit. Sid Vicious back on the fence, followed by Hero Star. Then the Dark One's Amazing Sate. Second last is Bradley and six metres away, Lynn Mara. Along the back straight the first time. And the favourites in front, I'm a threat by six metres to Copper Bray. Don Riso third without cover, moving up on the fences, Sid Vicious and Gangel's Hanover now taking off three wide. Then Kellaway one off the fence on its back as Hero Star. On the fence, Amazing Sate, followed by the Dark One's Bradley and four metres away, Lynn Mara. Off the back of the lap and a quarter mark, and I'm a threat clear. Three metres to Gangel's Hanover, working up to be second without cover. On his inside is Copper Bray, followed by Don Riso now one out with the Sid. Sid Vicious back on the fence, two metres to Kellaway the outside. On the rail is Amazing Sate, followed by Hero Star, four back on the outside. On his back is the Dark One's, followed by Linmar, a second last back on the fence and last is Bradley. Down the straighter circuit to go in the Red Cross Stakes final. I'm a threat's been left alone in front, the favourite by three metres to Gangel's Hanover. Two metres away, third Copper Bray. Don Riso fourth on the outside off Sid Vicious, followed by Callaway, three back on the outside. On the rail, Amazing Sate, followed by Hero Star pulling in the run. Back on, be on the inside is Lynn Mara. Second last to Dark Ones and four metres away, Bradley. Out of the straight, the final time, 650 metres to go. I'm a threat held together by two metres to Gangel's Hanover. On the leaders back is Copper Bray, followed by Don Riso. It's been an even pace. Back on the rail, Sid Vicious, followed by Kelly. Away. Then Hero Star, followed by Amazing Sate, Lynn Mara, the Dark Ones, and Bradley. 450 metres out. It's still I'm a threat by two metres to Gangel Sanover, who has worked. Callaway now going forward three wide quickly. Don Riso comes out in front of him. Copper Bray back on the fence. Hero Star going forward. Then Sid Vicious, Amazing Sate, Lynn Mara, the Dark Ones, and Bradley. They turn, though, with the 250. I'm a threat going easily by six metres. Gangel Sanover gone. Copper Bray working to second from Don. Don Riso, Kellaway, Hero Star, late down the outside, but I'm a threat, burst away with 120.
20 metres to go. He'll win comfortably from Killaway, Copper Bray, Sid Vicious and Hero Star. But I'm a threat gets home by six metres. Copper Bray's run second, maybe Sid Vicious third, just in front of Callaway. Wide out with five to four on Copper Bray, fifty to one. Sid Vicious at forty to one. That was the first half of the program at Mooney Valley last night. We'll be back with the second half in just a moment. And the favourite at six Keystone to four. Fella swung out sideways shortly after and broke up. Jack Brandon away okay. They're going hard up in front. My Red Mist will lead early from Sir Crockett. Trina's girl working up on the outside. Jack Brandon going forward. He's angling for the one out city. Can't do so because Dark Dreamer comes one off the fence and plants the favourite three wide. Jack Brandon. Marching order began beautifully. He's sixth on the inside early, followed by Mirren's Choice. Then cross time, followed by Game Oro. Back on the fence, cop away. Six metres away, man of the moment. And Keystone fell a last. In the straight the first time. And the favourite's three wide, Jack Brandon. My Red Mist in front by two and a half metres to Trina's girl. Jack Brandon now working up on the outside. He's still off the track. Four metres away, Sir Crockett, followed by Dark Dreamer. On the fences, marching order, followed by Mirren's Choice. As Jack Brandon works up to be second outside My Red Mist, and he will take over out of the straight. The favourite now leads Jack Brandon from My Red Mist. Caught without cover, Trina's girl. Back on the fence is Sir Crockett. Dark Dreamer, one out with the sit and a nice piece of driving, followed by Marching Order, who's now four back on the rail as Merrin's Choice was about to go forward. He did flush out, though, Dark Dreamer. Merrin's Choice now going forward. So, too, is Cross Time. On the fence is Copper Way, followed by Gay Morrow. Given plenty of time to balance up. Second last man of the moment and six metres to Keystone Fella. At the 1250, Jack Brandon steadied by two and a half metres to Dark Dreamer. Merrin's Choice now whizzing up to the mount three wide works up to be second. My Red Mist is fourth on the fence, followed by Trina's girl as Merrin's Choice now takes on Jack Brandon. On the fence is Sir Crockett, followed by Cross Time. Marching order back on the rail, four metres away, Gay Moro. He'll have the last crack at them, followed by Cop away. Second last man of the moment and four metres away, Keystone Fella. At the judge, a lap out. Jack Brandon held together by four metres to Merrin's Choice. The favourite has worked and he has been taken on. A neck away third my red mist fourth on the outside now is dark dreamer on the rail is sir crockett followed by trina's girl marching order back on the rail can't get a crack at them followed by cop away then cross time game or third last about 15 meters off the lead he appears to be going okay from man of the moment and back on the fence keystone fella along the back 600 meters out jack brandon about to be shaken up by three meters to merrin's choice a neck away third my red mist followed by dark dreamer Cross time going forward, Gay Morrow latching on his back. Then Trina's girl, fifth on the outside of Sir Crockett. Marching order back on the rail, Gay Morrow going forward. Then Copper Way, man of the moment, Keystone Fella. They're packing up inside the 400. It's still Jack Brandon by a metre. Two Merrin's Choice is sticking on. Dark Dreamer now three wide. My Red Mist has held up. Sir Crockett angling one off the fence. Trina's girl looked beaten from cross time. Gay Morrow now pulls to the outside. He's right off the track on the straight where Jack Brandon pinched two metres to Merrin's Choice who can't pick it up. My Red Mist now moves up on the rail. He's starting to fly home. Dark Dreamer down the outside. Gay Morrow starting to flash home but a mile too late because Jack Brandon gets home by two metres to My Red Mist. Very tight for third. Gay Morrow flew close up Dark Dreamer. Then Sir Crockett followed by Marching Order. In behind them cross time. Man of the moment. Merrin's Choice. Keystone fellow Trina's girl and tailed off in the race cop away after breaking at about the 180 metre mark. Jack Brandon scoring in the fifth event at six to four from My Red Mist at twenties and Game Oro third at three to one in race six. The favourite Go Scotch at twos. Green light on there racing. Wide out Keeling began quickly. She's trying to head them off. Go Scotch from the inside though. Looks like leading out of the straight from Spring Vance and Keeling going forward off the track. In behind them, Keystone Pop, followed by Eddie Armar as Go Scotch leads from Spring Vance. Keeling caught wide. Back in the field, Ben Tyers fourth last and moving up on the fence is Adios Duty to be third out of the straight. In behind them on the outside is Eddie Armar, followed by Ben Tye. Six metres away, Hoofbeat. Dropping out to second last is Cardinal Sam and six metres away back at the tail, Andrew Prince. Halfway down the back straight on the first circuit. In front goes Scotch from Adios Duty. Keeling caught third without cover. She'll have a trail in a moment because Keystone Pop is now going forward off the track. 
On the rail is Mark's mate, four metres to Eddie Armour, the fence, moving up a Spring Vance. Then Ben Tye, back on the fence is Cardinal Sam. Second last hoof beat and four metres to Andrew Prince. Working off the back straight in the first circuit. Go Scotch in front and held together by two metres. Working up on the outside, Keystone Pop. On the leader's back is Adios Duty. One out with the sit now is Keeling. On her back is Spring Vance. On the rail is Mark's mate. Working up on the outside is Ben Tye. Back on the rail is Eddie Armour. Then Cardinal Sam, followed by Hoofbeat second last, and last is Andrew Prince. Down the straight, a lap out. Go Scotch in front. He's been left alone. He's been well tried too. By two metres to Keystone Pop, who's worked hard. Third on the fence is Adios Duty. Fourth on the outside, Keeling. She's had a nice hit for the last thousand. On the inside and fifth is Mark's mate. Eddie Armour, four back on the rail, followed by Spring Vance, who's three back on the outside. On his back in turn, Ben Tye. Cardinal Sam the fence, followed by Hoofbeat. And six metres to Andrew Prince. Along the back, the final time, 650 metres out. Andrew Prince from last is going forward. He'll flush a few of these up in front to go. In behind them now came uh, Hoofbeat, who dropped out to second last and Cardinal Sam third last but Go Scotch is still clear 400 metres out at the moment going as well as anything by three metres to Keystone Pop on the leaders back is Adios Duty Spring Vance is going forward Keeling about to take off she's under pressure though followed by Eddie Armour on the rail is Mark's mate followed by Ben Tye Hoofbeat Cardinal Sam and Andrew Prince they straighten up though 200 metres out Go Scotch is four metres in front Keeling gets the second wider out she's now starting a motor home Go Scotch two metres in front of Keeling rapidly overholding Go Scotch is still a metre in front Keeling cutting Go Scotch down Go Scotch is veering off the track but he's got home a metre and a half to Keeling third home was Adios Duty Mark's mate made ground then Keystone Pop followed by Spring Vance Ben Tye Hoofbeat never threats from Cardinal Sam Eddie Armour and last was Andrew Prince two metres the winning margin in favour of Go Scotch the two to one favourite from Keeling at threes and Adios Duty at 66's in race seven Elvis Meadow the favourite at two to one Racing, El Maris and the Pole scrambled away. Next door, Merniong Playboy began well. It will lead. Salvation Joe Buck jumping after the start. Flattened Chair Congeal behind it. Timely Eagle away nicely. It's caught wide. Elvis Meadow now moving up to be fifth off the back and caught wide. He's going forward. Getting to midfield is Merniong Looney and back on the fence now, Golden Jed. And dropping out to the tail after breaking Salvation Joe. Second last out of its gear, Chair Congeal. Third last is Timely Eagle. Around the turn the first time, El Elvis Meadow now works up to be second within two metres of Merniong Playboy. Four metres away, third is El Maris. One out with the sitters, Narkvark. On its back is Docker Charlie, followed by Golden Jet on the rail. Six metres away, Merniong Looney. Moving up on the rail is Flying Future. In behind them, Bertie Mack, followed by Timely Eagle. A break of 15 metres to Salvation Joe and 10 metres away, Chair and Jill. And that pair have now tacked up as they slacken off out of the straight the first time. In front, Merniong Playboy by four metres to Elvis Meadow, who's forced to race second without cover. Elvis Meadow third on the fence, one out with the sitters, Narkvark. On the rail is Golden Jed, followed by Docker Charlie. Then Flying Future, the fence, four, five back on the outside, or four back now is Merniong Looney. In behind them, Bertie Mack, as Merniong Looney now takes off three wide. Salvation Joe on the fence, followed by Timely Eagle, second and third last, and six metres away, Chair and Jill. Off the back, 1,250 metres to travel. Merniong Playboy in front, by two metres to the stable mate, Merniong Looney. And they're four metres in front of Elvis Meadow, now one out with the sit. On the leaders, back as El Maris, followed by Nark Vark. He's had a nice run. Back on the rail, Golden Jed. Six metres away, Flying Future, moving up as Docker Charlie. Then Bertie Mack, followed by Salvation Joe. Timely Eagle, second last, and six metres away, Chair and Jill. Down the straight, a lap out, and the stable mates are in front. Merniong Playboy by two metres to Merniong Looney. Three metres away, third is El Maris held up, followed by Elvis Meadow. He's had a nice hit for the last circuit. Back on the rail came Golden Jed, followed by Nark Vark. Then Docker Charlie, four back on the outside of Flying Future. Bertie Mack from the tail now going forward under hard driving. Timely Eagle on its back. On the rail is Salvation Joe and six metres away, Check and Jill. Out of the straight, the final time, 700 metres to go. It's still Merniong Playboy by three metres to Merniong Looney. On the leaders back is El Maris in need of a run. Fourth on the outside is Elvis Meadow. Then Nark Vark about to go forward. He does so now as Elvis Meadow goes forward. Golden Jed working one off the fence in behind them flying future. 
Birdie Mac is wider out from Docker Charlie Salvation Joe. Timely Eagle second last held up and six metres away. Check and Jill approaching the turn now 300 metres out. It's still Murney on Playboy, a metre to Murney on Looney. Elvis Meadow, the favourites, three wide making ground. Then Nark Vark about to go four wide. In behind them, Golden Jed, Jocker Charlie, El Maris, and Timely Eagle wide. In the straight, Murney on Playboy being joined by Murney on Looney, the stable mate. Elvis Meadow under pressure, followed by Nark Vark late down the outside. Elvis Mera getting a split now. Down the outside, Murni Young Looney grabbing the lead. Nark Vark wide out is starting to fly home, but Murni Young Looney has got the money narrowly by about a metre. Tight for the miners, El Maris and Nark Vark. Close up, Murni Young Playboy. Timely Eagle wide out. Elvis Meadow close up, followed by Flying Future. In behind them, Golden Jed, Cheer and Jill, Salvation Joe. And last home was Bertie Mack. Yes, well, they were all over the place there. Mooney on Looney, 14 to 1. El Maris, 10 to 1. Nark Vark at 7. Elvis Meadow, the favourite unplaced. In the last event, the favourite, Mr Arden, 5 to 4 on. Check that filly rather badly and Sparebo got away before the turn. Amana gone, followed by Apollo L and Decapitate wider out making ground. On the turn though, 250 metres out. Sparebo straightens up by 6 metres to Southern Splendour coming again. And Apollo L is making ground at the 150 though. Sparebo 5 metres in front. Southern Splendour trying hard. Crockett's last is making good ground late on the outside. He'll get up and run second from Apollo L. But Sparebo gets home comfortably by 6 metres to Crockett's last. Six metres away, third Apollo L. Spare bow successful in the final event at nine to two. Crockett's last second at ten to one, and third place in going to Apollo L. That was at fifty to one, and uh, the favourite there was Mr Arden at five to four on. We might take a look at the doubles now from Mooney Valley. The daily double on seven and eight paid twenty one dollars ninety. The extra double ten and four two dollars ten, and the quadrilla from the valley last night on the numbers four seven one and eight paid $153.20. So it was fairly damp at the Valley last night, but I hope you managed to find a winner there, or at the uh, races at the Valley yesterday, or indeed at Greyhound Racing throughout the week. And that's just about all we have from World of Sport replay this morning. Of course, keep in mind that we do have a very big day of sport, as I mentioned before, with the World of Sport coming up with Sandy Roberts at 11 o'clock in just a few minutes' time from now. And, uh, of course, we'll be taking a look at yesterday's football matches. A great win by Collingwood, great fighting effort over the Hawks yesterday. Carlton, too good for Richmond. And we'll be taking a look at all the football action from yesterday with uh, all the highlights. Goal of the day, mark of the day, the panel. And one of the most important features of World of Sport today is that we'll be taking you live to Perth at round about 12 o'clock for the Kim Hughes press conference. Uh, Kim has stated that he wants to talk to the Australian public first about his rather controversial decision to lead the Rebel team to South Africa. And that will be coming your way in World of Sport at uh, round about midday. So all the action coming up. The Army Reserve Cup, of course, at uh, round about quarter past two. Look forward to your company then. All my gear comes from Opal Southland. Look forward to seeing you next week on World of Sport Replay. Stand by for World of Sport and Sandy Roberts. World of Sport Replay was another seven sport presentation. Today, the circus is coming to town.